It's all over the news and it's all over our social media timelines. The MV ever given is blocking the Swiss canal. But is it that hard to pull it out? And why can't they dislock the huge container ship? The MV ever given, a container ship almost as long and as tall as the Empire State Building, ran aground in the Egyptian Canal after being caught in the 14 knot winds and sandstorm. Since it got stuck, dredgers have been working to remove vast quantities of the sand and the mud from around the port side of the vessel's bow until the front section has gotten holes in it. In this video, I will let you know what is happening there from an engineering point of view, some of the challenges that the engineers, towers and tugging maneuvers are facing just to get the gigantic ship out of the way from one of the world's busiest waterways. Before I go further, if you guys are new to this channel, please do consider subscribing to Logan the Tech Guy. I make tech comparison videos here sometimes in infographic way and sometimes in voiceover. I also do tech reviews and sometimes I explore the science and engineering topics too like this one. So yeah, hit the little red subscribe button and help me to achieve the huge goal of reaching 100,000 subscribers mark. Let's dive in. The Swiss Canal is an artificial sea level waterway in Egypt, connecting the Mediterranean Sea to the Red Sea through the isthmus of Swiss and dividing Africa and Asia. It was constructed between 1859 and 1869. The Ever Given is stuck near the Egyptian city of Swiss, about 3.7 miles north of the canal's southern entrance. It is a narrow section of canal, about 985 feet wide. Owners say high wind in a sandstorm pushed the ship sideways, wedging it into both banks of the waterway. In the south of this west canal, there is a single canal, and in the north, there are dual canals. The Evergreen is stuck in the south and not in the north. Since there are two canals in the north, this would never have been a problem. Talking about this vessel, the Taiwan-owned MV Ever Given, which has an evergreen container ship, is a 400 meter long and a 59 meter wide vessel. The vessels on the sea go as deep as 15 meters or 45 feet, and bear in mind that the total weight of this vessel is 200,000 tons, which is equivalent to 200,000 cars provided the car weighed 1 ton each. What we can see from all the images and videos is the ever given bow which has wedged itself into one side of the canal. What we can't see is the vessel may go as deep as 16 feet into the canal. The vessel at this point is likely about 16 feet embedded into the seabed since the vessel is now on the sand and it has become a frictional problem to move the vessel. This scenario can also be ascertained by dragging a surfing board on sand or dragging a box on the road. Part of the vessel is now resting on the sand. If we segregate the vessel into 10 parts and let's assume that around one tenth of the vessel weight is resting on the sand, then the frictional force required to move the vessel is around 50% of the weight resting on the sand. The 50% is known as the threshold of motion which is characterized by the coefficient of static friction. That is 50% of one tenth of the 200,000 tons of the vessels. That is 10,000 tons. So 10,000 tons will be required to pull or to move away the vessels away from the sand. Well, this is by assuming that one tenth of the vessel weight that is stuck on the sand. If we assume one third of the vessel weight is stuck on the sand, then we have to segregate the vessel into three parts of the vessel which is stuck. Then the frictional force will increase to 30,000 tons. The Fast Samson, which is an offshore construction vessel or aka the construction support vessel, is the strongest construction vessel in the world. The Fast Samson can pull 420 tons, which means that we would need 24 Fast Samsons to pull the MV ever given for one tenth of the shipping weight on the sand. If we use the one third of the vessel weight, then we need 80 Fast Samson to pull the shipping weight off the sand. I'm not sure whether the vessel rescuers will use the Fast Samson to free the vessel, but if they do, I don't think there's enough space in the channel to have huge amount of Fast Samson vessels on the Swiss Canal. Second option is to dig underneath the vessel, so if the vessel is 15 meters below the sea level, then from land, an excavator must likely need to stand 30 meters from the vessel reaching 15 meters deep. The reason that the reach is 30 meters is that it's not possible to excavate vertically in the sand. The underwater sand will simply flow out and it will not remain stable. 
Another method is to use offshore dredge, which will suck or excavate the soil underneath the vessels. This type of vessel dredging vessels are mostly designed to escalate underneath the vessels and will not be horizontally in front of the vessels. These type of vessels are not built to face these challenges. They are offshore excavators, but again, they are not designed to dig so long in the front, but maybe this could be one of the possible solutions. If digging the sand away and pulling the ship with tuck fails to move it, Mr. Rabi, the Swiss Canal Authority chairman, said that the rescuer's team might have to remove some containers to lighten the load. He said that he hoped that it would not be needed. John Dalkham, the president of UK Chamber of Shipping, told the BBC that transferring the cargo to another vessel or the canal bank would involve bringing in specialized equipment, including a crane that would need to stretch more than 60 meters high. So, is there a backup plan to dig this ever given out of the Swiss Canal? So, why is the canal so important than the other canals across the world? Well, about 12% of global trade passes through the 193 kilometers of this canal, which connects the Mediterranean Sea to the Red Sea and provides the shortest sea link between Asia and Europe. An alternative route around the Cape Good Hope of the southern tip of Africa can take two weeks longer. According to data from Lloyd's List, the blockage is holding up an estimated $9.6 billion of goods each day. Mr. Rabi estimated that Egypt was losing up to $14 million in revenue each day since the canal was closed. So that's about it for the Wedge Evergreen Vessel on the Swiss Canal in Egypt. What do you think about the current situation of this issue? Do let me know in the comments. And if you did find this video helpful and if you want to see more video from me, then hit on the subscribe button and tap on the bell icon. It is always really appreciated and check out my other videos. I will catch you next time right here. All love and peace out.